Hi, my name is Peach. Let me not waste your time. Today, I'll be showing you what keyers are, how to use them in DaVinci Resolve, and how I use them in my workflow. If you don't know what a keyer is, a keyer is a tool that you can use to select a certain color or color range from an image and use it to create a matte or a mask with it. There are many keyers in Resolve. But the one I'm going to focus on today is the Chroma Keyer. So let's just add that. We're just going to take our media in, put it to our Chroma Keyer, and then view it in here. Now, if we take a look at the Chroma Keyer, you can see there's three more inputs that are on the node. The dark gray arrow connects any mask that you put to it to a garbage mat. This will force a mask selection to remove the footage within the connected area. The light gray arrow is a solid mat. This will force the connected area to stay shown despite being keyed out. The blue arrow is the mask input, which controls the overall area that the keyer can be used in. So how would I start using this keyer? I would actually start using with the polygon mask. That's not a masking tutorial, but using a mask will help us isolate the area that we want to work on. So we just want to take out Chica right here. So I'm just going to draw a very quick mask around here, just like that get it close to her as possible without overlapping and that should be fine this is a photo so it's not gonna move all right and we're just gonna connect this to our garbage mat and then we're gonna go to our chroma key here up to the mat page and then we're gonna go down to garbage mat and then invert this mask so we have this selected now if we take our chroma key here we select it and then we can start dragging out the color that we want to isolate away like that it should be good and just just zoom in, make sure you get all the pixels, and then try not to hit the inside or the black edge of the characters. Do this for a little bit until you have a selection that you're happy with. Try and get as much of the brown away as possible. Sometimes, even if you get a color that's over here, it'll affect the colors that are in here, but we're going to fix that in a second. All right, we selected most of the brown away. If I click on the side and then hit A, I can see all the alpha is the alpha that is on the image. Whatever is white is what you can see, and whatever is black is transparent. You can see that with my selection, even going all around, they, they, you know, the, their shape on the outside is mostly done, but you can see there's little black details on the inside, meaning those were also selected and now they are turned into transparent. The way that we fix that is actually by taking another mask, dragging it out here, and then we're just gonna Go around the middle edge, try and get as close to the edge as possible, and then we're just gonna use a really quick mask again. And so this time we're gonna hit to the solid mat. Once we do that, the details on the inside will not be selected by the selection that we did, and they should show up. So let's do that. I'm going around the area that I know is going to be permanently selected when doing this. That's why I'm not going over the green. All right, that should be good. I take this alt, hold it, and then we go to our solid mat. And you can see all that detail on the inside is now brought back. And there's no, no gap on the inside of where we put that mask. Maybe we need to extend that mask a little bit more. All right, that should be good for now. But now we're going to add another chroma key here. And we're going to take out the green this time. Connect it up, chroma keyer to chroma keyer. We view this chroma keyer now that there's this black selection now. We can take this and drag it to our effect mask because we're only using whatever is selected. So now it fixes that and then we can start selecting our green part of the image. Just like this. A little bit of that. Be this. All right. For the most part, we got most of that de that green detail, but again, the middle part is being affected. So we just take this mask that we did earlier. This is the uh, solid mat, and then connect to this solid mat again. Now it's not being affected, and now we only have like a little bit of a selection over here, which is we need to get rid of. But that should be easy because we're just going to add a mat control. Connect to here, and then we could take a mask just mask out those little details that we don't want I might even go down a little bit more there we go let's go around to this side like that chop it off and we go back all the way around and click keep the mask I'm gonna put this on the garbage mat input and now you can see those little details are taken away and it should be decently well all right for the most part that is good we want to merge this back on top of our media we'll do it like that and you can see I have the whole image back together then if i put a merge behind here we'll put some text behind and see how well our mat did that's 
it up. All right, so you can see that the edge is kind of weird. You can see that some are very rough and also some parts wasn't selected correctly. And then also the edges are taken away, which kind of looks a little weird if we bring the mask over. Just not the best. So there is a way to fix it. And it's probably only works for it when you are. <clears throat> it's probably only works when we're using with anime because of how uh, pretty define the, li the lines are. I'm just going to move all this selection up. I'm going to add a edge detect node. Connect our main media to the edge detect. Let's view it. Then we could put the threshold up so it only doesn't get all that detail. Then do grayscale. Bring up a little bit more. And that should be fine. And then I'm going to add a bitmap node. this to the bitmap and then change this channel to luminance now we have uh, a selection that is using the lines i think i will put a mask on this so we can get rid of uh, this other detail on the side that we don't want we should probably or probably already have a mask like this but i'm just going to do it again now if we get this to our bitmap perfect mask invert this no nope. we could invert the selection all right. Yeah, something like this. And if we merge this here, not a selection like this. Oh, but the this mask here. Apply mask invert. Right there. Now here I messed up, and you're gonna see me cut to a different scene. It's gonna look different right here, but. Everything that you've seen is correct, so just ignore this. You're gonna see here, and then do the rest. Okay. Now we have this. We have that. And in order to make this good again, we're just gonna add another mat control, and then use this as a mask, a garbage mask. Invert that, and then let's merge this again. Now, if we check up on it, selection is pretty good. We could maybe put a soft edge on this mask, make it a little better. And then we could bring this down to make it more solid or bring it up to make it thicker. I mean, that should look good. And now we have a decently, pretty decent mask or whatever we want, a little bit of detail we could probably fix there with the mask, but for the most part, this is pretty good.